You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ty Brennan and Anita Roman in HD. Or not to floss? That's the big question following a study this week saying it's a waste of time. What Valley dentists have to say about this new trend, right, Ty? All right, the big health study out this week suggests that flossing may be a waste of our time. More than two dozen studies over the past decade have compared flossing and brushing to just brushing alone. And even the most rigorous studies have found the evidence for flossing is quote unquote weak and very unreliable. So I wanted to hear from an expert in this week's Trend or Truth. So joining me on the couch this morning is Dr. Prabhiti Adhikari with Artistic Dental at the Biltmore. When you saw the study, be honest, what did you think? I thought that uh, it's very easy to read into a headline. I always click on the links that say chocolate and and uh, fake goods are good for health, so I could see that people would want to not floss. Okay, but you're kind of debunking this, this study saying that flossing is really important. Flossing is really important. You know, there's five surfaces to the tooth, and your toothbrush only gets three of those surfaces. So you need something that gets that plaque and bacteria that's wedged in between your teeth and underneath the gum line. And brushing alone just doesn't get those areas. And every time we go to the dentist, it seems like they're always asking, do you floss, do you floss, do you floss? And you can tell when we you look tell. into people's mouths if they floss or not. Tell us what it looks like when people don't floss. Well, a lot of bleeding, a lot of redness, inflammation. You know, when you, you get stuff that are sitting in, in between the teeth, it's gonna cause irritation and inflammation. So you wanna clean that area up. And that can also lead to some bigger health problems, right? People kinda don't think that your mouth is really connected to your entire body. Absolutely. We've talked about on the show how oral health is directly related to systemic health. And so flossing, it's low cost and it's easy to do. Um, it could have great implications for your overall systemic health. Okay. Now I want to show this table here because you kind of brought out some different tools. You, we have the water pick here. Now this is kind of the Mac Daddy of flossing, yeah, so yeah. to speak, right? What does this do? This just sprays pressure in between your gums. And, and it actually dislodges some of the, the plaque and bacteria that are sitting there. That might be good for people that can't actually get in there and do that. For maybe for older people or people that maybe have people some sort of issues. People with manual dexterity, people that just don't like to floss. You know, there's a lot of different options and it's great because it's personal preference. There's people with small mouths, big hands, gotcha. limited manual dexterity. So there's different options. It's not just the, the typical floss that okay. we're used to. Now this is just the normal typical floss. There's so many different brands out there. Some are thicker, some are thinner. Does it matter? This is a thicker floss. You have wax floss, you have unwax floss. Um, you have ones that you can reach back into your mouth mm -hmm. and actually floss with. It doesn't matter as long as you're cleaning that interdental space. That's okay. what's important. And then these you can buy at the drugstore for like a buck. Oh, you, you can buy huge packets and they come with about a hundred of them. Okay, so what are the problem signs if maybe we are flossing and you do see some bleeding in the gums or tenderness or things like that? When do you know maybe it'll just get better on itself and when do you need to come see a, a dentist? Well, I wouldn't be alarmed if you do see bleeding. That just means that there is an inflammatory process going on and so you want to continue to floss. You know, the important thing is to learn how to use the tool correctly and that way you'll get the most benefit out of flossing. So if you are sawing into the gums, you're gonna cause the gums to bleed. Mm -hmm. You wanna review how to floss and how to get to those spaces to keep them clean. And, and eventually, you're gonna feel like your mouth is a lot cleaner. Gotcha. So bottom line, we debunked it. It is let's definitely, floss. let's floss. Keep I like it. All right, well, I didn't floss this morning, so I'm just gonna take a couple of these. Water pick for you. I'll take, I'll take one too, Ty. I got, I got I, two I need a you. couple of flosses, All please. Right. Well, Dr. Prabhiti Adhikari, as always, we appreciate you coming in and Thanks schooling us me. on our oral health. We appreciate it.